Guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. We have Exit starting in the upper left-hand corner as the Blue Terran. And you have Nooks, a.k.a. TFAC Sony, starting in the bottom left-hand corner as the... I don't want to call that... Like Peach? Peach Zerg? It's like an appropriate color for Zerg because it's kind of like an unsettling color to see in like weird fleshiness because it's not exactly like human color skin or whatever. Anyway, a little bit of banter between these guys. Exit. Very active in CPL, Tier 0 Protoss, oftentimes, and we're going to have so much chatter. Uh, and I wanted to talk about these guys, so Nook's a friend of the stream. I do have a little ba bit of background information as far as his games in this match. He apparently had COVID when he was playing this. So, which to me sounds like an excuse. It's like, you know, <laughs> I have a disease that killed 3 million people when I was playing with CPL. So I think this is, this is him just trying to say that, like... My games weren't as good as I was hoping they could be, or I didn't. I feel like this is excuses. Excuses. Killer disease while you're playing matches. But anyway, he's a friend of the stream. You can actually watch him stream under this exact uh, Twitch name. And yeah, does a lot of Zerg stuff there. He's an old school player. Boomer. Boomer Zerg. Exit. Very involved in CPL. Uh, apparently he's done Protoss more this season. He's tier zero. He's involved in a lot of the coaching and action there. You'll also see him around Artosis' streams. Very active guy in the Brood War community. He has gone kind of a distant barracks here on that corner rather than going for a front door seal. We'll see how that ends up playing out for him. It looks like Nooks is opening up currently for a 12 hatch. Drone already in position to do so. That Overlord is scouting to that bottom right-hand corner first. The SEV is scouting right initially for exit, so it's going to be... Oh, maybe not. I take it back. So I think what he was doing is he was looking for this corner, trying to see if the Overlord was there, and when he did not find the Overlord, he decided to go ahead and switch position and start making his way bottom left. Some players will do that. Uh, sometimes it pays off, depending on the Overlord scouting route. Sometimes it does not. But this time, it looks like it's going to pay off. That, or he's map hacking. No, I, th I think that was the play. Is look for the Overlord mid-screen when you don't find the Overlord. Uh, switch directions. And that is going to end up result resulting in an earlier scout. So he's going to go ahead and see this 12th hatch, get a good look at that spawning pool, and maybe even get a little bit of harassment in on that drone line to be a little bit annoying in Nook's base. So initial marine being produced, looking for, and actually, interestingly enough, kind of doing this capping supply depot, just I guess in case circlings get across, they can't sneak across that back end. Second marine being produced, wondering the timing of the bunker, actually going for a gas steal. Interesting. It's rare to see a Terran gas steal a Zerg, but here we're seeing it. All sorts of annoyance. This is going to be... You can tell that these guys want it. And they're they are playing and they're they are going to be playful about it. Nook still, with no scouting information, still has actually not sent out a drone scout. Which, again, could be a factor of the disease. So keep in mind, he is playing a little bit plagued. There's the, cancel. interestingly enough, cancellation to get those minerals back. Marine sitting out on the front. Exit realizing, okay, you know, it's a 12 hatch. I can play this a little bit more economically stable. Canceling the factory to get, uh, or sorry, canceling the second barracks to get a little bit more marines, or a little bit more marines, a little bit more minerals. I'm playing apparently with, COVID, well, not with COVID, just whatever. Uh, getting that command center, he's going to be very safe doing so. Only two zerglings making the way across that map, and finally a drone scout moving. Never mind, this is going to be to take the third base. So Sony playing completely in the dark, just going to allow his zerglings to get the scouting information for him. And honestly, with how late this drone scout's coming out, and as few zerglings are being produced. Uh, I do believe that Exit, yeah, just does not even need to build a bunker or anything defensively. He's already got the Marines uh, producing up. He's playing a little bit light at this stage of things. He's getting that economy. He's just been sticking on one barracks at this stage. We'll see if he goes ahead and grabs a second one uh, once this command center is up. But this is allowing Nooks to get a little bit of what he wants to do. He's preventatively already building a command, or a, a command center, a something colony. Can't say things today. Uh, just in case that will be able to perhaps deny that SCV scout as it comes across, but you can see how much in the dark he's playing. He's like, I don't even know if these Marines are coming across to attack me or not, so I just need to build this this uh, something colony just in case. This is huge, whether you can deny this SCV scout or not. Is able to kill that SCV scout. We do see layer upgrading. I think this is going to be three hatch mutilisk. At least that is the indication up to this stage. SCV has already found this third hatchery. And realizing there's a lighter Zergling count, the Marines are already starting to, to press that 6 o'clock base. And if we see a bunker being built, might even be able to uh, finish that off. Looks like it's going to be able to... F so that's actually getting up. So no bunker being built. The SCV pulling back, but 
and the Marines a bit scattered, unfortunately, to engage these Zerglings. That sometimes gives Zerglings an opportunity to go ahead and provide some latent defense and an attack against the spread Marines. Because the more, basically, the more compact the range units are, the easier it is to defend against. The Zer drone taking some damage. Looks trying to get some surround, not getting the best round, able to take out a handful of Marines. And exit and is going to end up losing. Well, actually, no. Still survives. Creep colony being built. The drone coming off the line. So one drone dies, but that that's huge. That initial Marine army gets wiped out. So exit in a little bit of trouble here. He has built a bunker to follow this up, but that basically means that Sony has an indicator where I can just do whatever I want. I can just drone as crazily as I want. I can go ahead and take additional expansions. I have map control. He wiped out that first Marine trooping and has to has to feel very comfortable and really only lost essentially two drones. He probably would have wanted to build this creep colony. I'm going to even say one drone because I'm counting one drone in the creep colony. Probably would have wanted to build that anyway. But so a, a big win there. A little bit of a, it looks like he has opted for lurker tech. So it's going to be three hatch lurker rather than three hatch mutilisk. Could be a factor of uh, lag. The Zerglings looking to go ahead and, and poke away at this marine medic force. Maybe catch something off guard. Second combat coming online. We do see that, that second barracks range is about halfway finished for exit. So he's going to sit back and macro up. <clears throat> feeling, and I think he did in fact scan the Hydralis Den, which is a big indicator that he can be a little bit more aggressive. Usually with the Mutalist Force, you need to stay back. You need to worry about your Marines uh, defending home base. But with Lurkers, you know that your Zerg opponent is effectively going into just a flat defensive mode. You have to worry about hold position Lurkers oftentimes out in the map, but as long as you're a little bit cautious, the Zerglings actually sneaking across might be able to... Well, I don't think there's enough Zerglings to go ahead and take that off with the repairs, but they are going to be able to wander in and at least provide a little bit of disruption. They are going to get one SCV, maybe two SCV. No, they're going to wander back, be taken out by the rest of the Marines following us up. So just a little bit of a distraction for Exit. Kind of a... I'm honestly surprised he decided to dive in with that. Uh, lurkers are up for Sony. He's got three bases. He's sitting at 30 drones, which is a nice situation, grabbing that second creep colony on the front and another bunker defensively. Sony worried a bit, perhaps, seeing those lurkers, that there was going to be kind of one of those Zerg all-ins, where it's just a, a flood of lurker ling to follow this up rather than more of a macro-oriented follow-up. But we do, in fact, see uh, Sony <clears throat> grabbing a fourth hatchery at his natural expansion, starting to build a handful of Hydralisks to, to morph into Lurkers, and it looks like he's going for more. I think what he's playing from here is, is I've got my third gas established, potentially. If I can just get Lurkers at the ramps on this base, I'm just going to work my way up to three gas, get Hive Tech, get up to, to uh, Defile or something along those lines. It looks like this Lurker wandering out, going to get killed there. <clears throat> Keep in mind, ooh, a handful of Marines getting killed a little bit unnecessarily. Keep in mind, until that science vessel is in the air, Exit has to rely on scans. A little bit of a backstab here, but this is, again, two bunkers. Exit expecting the all-in, but at least has to feel plenty defended uh, comparatively. There are, okay, there are two lurkers here behind the creep colonies, but they're a little bit out of range to where the sunken colony, or sorry, the creep, the sunken colonies, but they're a little bit out of range. So the Marines can actually kind of get along this corner, attack the sunken colonies, and those lurkers can't really attack that position. It looks like Exit was sitting around the mineral only, thinking that might be an additional base. So getting a little bit of map control right there. More lurkers wandering out, burrowing along the lines, getting some nice spread, and Exit just losing a lot of medics and Marines on that front while that science, and actually going dropship before Science Vessel. This is an interesting play. So he wants to go ahead and try to get a drop in the main. He might be able to pick off that Queen's Nest. This Sometimes drops can be devastating versus Zerg. Comps adding and seeing all sorts of lurkers. He is going to be able to pick off this one uh, from double corner. He has a single siege tank as well, but he's expended a honestly a lot of Marines for free and has no medics on this front door. He has very little map control as a result. Dropship wandering out a little bit too early. Lurker Ling's going to go ahead and press up and take out that siege tank. So Sony actually in a fantastic position here. These poor Marines got to feel absolutely terrified out on this front. Another hatchery being planted down. So that's going to bring the hatchery count up to five. And we already have a hive on the way. Things going well for Nooks. He looks like Exit going ahead and grabbing additional base. So this drop needs to be stellar to get Exit back in this match. Because this is where Zerg starts to get scary. When they're at three bases and when they can get towards that higher-end tech. There is going to be a bit of delay. 
A lot of Lurker and Ling's in position to go ahead and see this dropship, but the question is, is did, did Nooks, in fact, in his addled state, see it incoming, and is he going to be able to react to it? Hydralis coming back. It looks like a handful of Lurkers coming back. They're going to go ahead and drop at that natural expansion. Nice response. No drone taken out there. It looks, or sorry, one drone taken out. A single Lurker. That's going to get comps added and killed fairly, uh, fairly easily. This is going to be a split attack. More Marines dropping at the main. Going to see that Hive Tech coming. These guys are going to get more accomplished. Getting a handful of drones right there. And yeah, very slow response. But it looks like the response is going to be a counter. But again, you've got those those bunkers right there to go ahead and defend this. That is going to interrupt that third. So it's a little bit of a, a tit for tat as far as base cleanup. However, it's taking, it looks like it's taking Sony a longer period of time to get the unnecessary troops. And it looks like they're rallied to the long, wrong location. So the dropship able to scoop things back up. Keep in mind, there's no Spire. Spire was skipped to get the, the Scourge to go ahead and deal with this. Exit, realizing that he's a bit distracted. Mm, wandering out without medics once again against these lurkers. And that's provoking Sony to go ahead and drop and... <laughs> plunge a bunch of lurkers and kill all sorts of marines at this location. He might actually even get one of the bunkers. Looks like he is going to be able to get one of the bunkers, but loses the rest. No, bunker stays. Just gets a turret. Gets a bunch of marines with that attack, though. Sorry, bumped my mic. So very back and forth. I feel like Exit has got himself, without economic damage, a little bit of breathing room. He needs to get more medic and marines on the field than his science has account up, though, desperately and rapidly, because the defiler mound is on the way. He does have a Radiate upgrading. We already have Adrenal Glands upgrading. I love the Adrenal upgrade. Six Barracks up. A bit of an attack force, but again, very Medic light. I only see one Medic. There's one Medic in the dropship and one Medic otherwise, as far as this grouping. But he's running into a very thin attack force here from Sony. That, In fact, I think this, before Sony's able to really mount a proper defense, I think this Hatchery might end up getting, uh, might end up getting taken out. There are six Lurkers here at the Mineral only that might be able to press into this. Medic and Marines dropping and an SCV dropping behind that line to do some economic damage. The Zerglings starting to press out with those Lurkers to go ahead and clear this forward attack force first. So that's going to be cleared out, but not before there was significant economic damage at that natural expansion. The Zerglings starting to move in uh, there, and the Lurkers actually peeling off rather than... So only a single Lurker pulling back. They're going to go ahead and check this mineral only to deny an expansion right there. And again, that dropship scooping the units up with that science vessel and going to exit. <laughs> Exit, living up to his name. A couple lurkers doing some damage there. The lurkers actually peeling up to the 12 o'clock location, finding a command center there. They at least will force a lift. Exit, uh, so both players a little bit battered and bruised. The 6 o'clock base has been mostly unperturbed at this stage, but critically the defiler mounts up and consumes up for Sony, and this is the stage of the match where, and there's only three science vessels overhead. And not a lot, of, it's still not a lot of medic marines. Honestly, SCVs have been part of, uh, a large part of this attack force. Bunch of Zerglings flooding across the middle of the map. No defiler support though. Ursadon is betraying them. Single lurker is going to die before it even burrows. Midpoint position. Now we see another drop from exit. There is a lurker in position. There are some defilers there. Looking for a Dark Swarm to go ahead and, and clean this attack up. It looks like it's a little bit delayed. The rest of the Medic Marine Force is sweeping in to, across that mineral only. Some, some drums getting taken out before there's a response. Still, still no Swarm to really... And yeah, you can tell he's playing a little bit ill. Some Zerglings diving in again to the defensive front where these bunkers are already planted. They're getting at least a Siege Tank, but not getting a lot else. So I feel like right now Nooks has the, the components... But perhaps because of the illness, just not able to capitalize, and he's allowing Exit more or less to continuously drop, and going to get GG right there. Yeah. And just hit his economy. And so from the lack of response and just the continual drops and just feeling out, it calls GG right there. So we move on to game two between Exit and Sony. A very mixed one uh, as far as game one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.